welcome back to the art room. Today, we're gonna do a sunset drawing with a foreground, middle ground, and background. And then we're gonna do something really special to it. And you're gonna have to wait overnight to see, to get the big reveal of this project. But to get started, um, I am choosing to use some cardboard and I just found an old uh, cereal box. And you're also gonna need some crayons or oil pastels. And that's really important. You have to use one or the other of those. And then you need some black paint here in a minute. Okay, might wanna have your paintbrush handy. And then scissors if you're cutting this out. Now, if you only have paper, if you're not able to get a hold of some cardboard, just use a piece of white paper. That'll work too. All right. I'm gonna use this, and you can cut it any size you want, any shape you want. I'm gonna make mine kind of a square. See how good I can do on a square. What do you think, Fern? Fern's a little tired today because I got him up early and took him for a walk because the weather is so nice out. So we went for a little walk around the neighborhood. And are you worn out? All right, there's my square. And I'm just gonna get rid of all of that and we don't need our scissors anymore. All right, so like I said, we're gonna put something in the foreground middle ground and the background is going to be our sunset. So I am going to do waves. And so off in the corner here, I'm going to start and I'm just going to make some swirls here. Okay. So actually let's put a dot right here and we're going to swirl out. So swirl out like this and around and into the side there. And that's gonna be our wave. And then we're gonna make, extend our wave down like that with a semicircle. And I'm just gonna draw in some lines here. Maybe one more coming out, twirling around, okay? And then let's draw an another wave here. Let's start this one a little bit lower. So right about here. Swirl around again and lead it into that. And then same thing, actually down here, let's make another tiny wave that comes off like this. Okay. And then one last wave coming out here. Perfect. And yours doesn't have to look the same as mine. In fact, if you want to draw a flower or something else in the foreground, feel free to do that. Okay, now I'm going to put in my hills. I'm just kind of swirling those up and down. And I'm going to put in some kind of bigger hills back here that kind of rise and fall. And like I said, these can just be any way you want them to be. Okay, maybe another hill in here that curves around. And one more back here to extend all the way across. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready for the sunset. I'll get you guys to take a look at that. What do you think so far, Fern? You like it? Okay. All right, so our sun is just gonna be a half circle. Okay, so you trace with your finger first, kind of get an idea of where you want it to go. That might be a little bit big. I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller because I'm gonna have rays coming off of it and I want to be able to color those in. So this is going to be a very colorful project. Okay, so it's about where I traced. So this is our sun and then we're going to have those rays extending off. So once again, I could just kind of do this with my finger, get an idea of where I want those going. Okay, so straight lines. Yeah, like that. And one up, spacing them about the same. And these get to come all the way across the page here. Ooh. All right, okay. Now we have our basic drawing. Looks like that. Okay, now we can get to coloring. So I'm gonna keep it really simple and 
use an orange, red, and yellow up top here. And then to complement that on the bottom, I am gonna use cooler colors, blue and green, and then I'm gonna add a little tiny bit of purple in here, okay? And then another good thing to have is some white that can brighten up your colors. I'm gonna start with the sun. Let's color that in and just go ahead and apply a lot of pressure. Get enough of your crayon or your coloring onto the page. Don't, don't kind of do it like this. We wanna really saturate our page with color. yellow down can start to fade in some other colors. So I'm going to go next with some orange. Put that and when you make sure that it goes on top of the yellow, okay, when you're blending crayons or colors together, you want to overlap. So don't leave a don't come right to the edge here and draw, but go ahead and overlap those a little bit. Now to blend those together a little bit, I'm gonna go back with my yellow over this spot right here and just start to get those colors to mix together. Isn't that fun? It's really getting them to blend together right there so that it's not a straight line. Perfect. Firm left. Okay, and last I'm gonna use some red on the outside here. Same thing, just being real consistent. Trying to cover all those spots. Now remember we're gonna come back with our orange on top of our red so that those blend and fade together. that. I kind of want it to be more orangey than, than red. All right. Now I might even come back in again with my yellow and blend that all the way out. I like how that looks. Only thing is you kind of get your crayons all mixed together there. That's okay. I might even come in and put just a little bit of orange to highlight my sun here. A little bit of orange, maybe even a tad of red. And then come back with my yellow and blend those in. And I might even throw some, some white in here just to brighten this sun rays up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna throw some white in down towards the bottom here to lighten that up. And then go back over it again with my yellow. Tell which one my yellow is. Just make sure every part of your picture is colored with crayon or oil pastels. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here and then color in my blues and greens on the bottom. I'm gonna speed that up so you don't have to sit here and just watch me do that. And then I'll come back and show you the last thing that we're gonna do.
here's the thing. Fern's taking off with the cereal box. I gotta stop and get it for him. Fern, come back with the cereal box now. That's for art, not for chewing. Come back, Fern. You need to be obedient. Come back. Can you come back? Give me the cereal box, please. That's for our artwork, not for chewing on. Ah. Hand it over, mister. Please don't do that again. Come and sit. All right, all done. And I'm happy with the way mine turned out. I have my foreground element, my middle ground, and my background sunshine. I like the way the cooler colors are contrasting with the warmer colors up top. And now we're gonna do something that you might not understand right now, but you're gonna have to trust me on this. I want you to take your black paint All right, get a pretty big dollop of paint there. We're gonna paint over our drawing. And just like that, just spread it all over. Don't be afraid, okay? Just cover up that piece of artwork that you just worked so hard on. There are times in life when things seem to not make sense. And this kind of doesn't make sense. The first time I saw it done, it didn't make sense to me why I had just worked so hard on this beautiful drawing just to cover it up. But it is gonna make sense in the end that sometimes life can seem a little dark. Sometimes I feel sad or lonely and things maybe don't always make sense. And it reminds me of doing this because this doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now, but it will. And so here we are. Your painting should be completely covered in black paint. And what we're gonna have to do is just leave it and be patient and then come back in a day or two and I will have another video that shows you what to do next. All right, so hang in there. Remember, you are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works. See you next time. What do you think, Vern? Huh? What do you think? Yes. Yeah.